So you're a flipper, huh? Well, what does that mean for your taxes? By that, I mean you're a real estate flipper. All of our new clients are real estate investors, at least for the most part, in their qualified plans, long-term holds, whatever the case is. That said, many of these people who are coming to us, they have no regard for their taxes. They really have no clue. Either does their CPA. Now, you gotta remember, there are tax considerations to everything, but specifically when it comes to real estate flipping. They're just now finding out they're getting hammered in taxes. Hi there, Kenner French with VastSolutionsGroup.com where tax finance and artificial intelligence meets for the entrepreneur. Actually, better said, we are tax and financial advisors for entrepreneurs and in, biz in business for over 50 years helping the micro entrepreneur, the little guy or girl, who ends up hopefully getting big after our consultation. You may be buying a house, a condo, or another form of real estate as an investment and selling it quickly. That can be lucrative, even as interest rates fall and house prices cool, maybe. However, there are risks involved in flipping real estate. For example, financing the deal and selling the real estate quickly in a current market could, could pose a problem. In addition, there are tax issues to consider. Even those investors who are able to realize a profit on the sale of properties may find that taxes take a big bite out of their gains. And while buying and selling real estate may appear to be easy money, the IRS frowns on individuals collecting significant earnings on real estate sales without first forming a business. If you're thinking about investing in real estate, you should be aware of the potential tax consequences associated with a rapid turnover of properties. Some investors purchase houses or condos until under construction, hoping they will still be able to sell the properties at a much, much higher price as the product project is just now being completed, while others seek out run-down houses in attractive locations and sell them after renovating the properties. Both strategies can be risky, however, as the combination of capital gains, taxes, legal fees, and realtor commissions could potentially leave the seller with little or no profit, especially if the intention is to flip the property quickly. Capital gains exclusions, now let's talk about that. If a property is being sold and bought, within a year, or bought and sold within a year, the seller must pay a short-term capital gain on the profit. Short-term gains are taxed at the same rate as an ordinary income tax, which could be as high as potentially 37%. Investment properties sold more than one year after purchase are subject to long-term capital gains taxes, currently approximately 15% for most. Before investing in real estate, consider how you would consider such a transaction. What would you do if the price failed to rise as expected between the time you purchased the real estate and the time you had intended to sell it? You could, of course, flip the property as planned, accepting a smaller profit or even a loss on the investment. If you realize profits elsewhere in your portfolio in that same year, offsetting losses against capital gains may be a viable tax strategy, by the way. You may also deduct the capital loss against other income. Alternatively, you could hold onto the property at least long enough to qualify for long-term capital gains rates on any profit. Consider whether you would be prepared to rent out the property until the market conditions potentially improve. Like kind exchanges are important. These are to ease your immediate tax burden when selling an investment property and retain capital for reinvestment, you can take advantage of what's called a section 1031 of the IRS codes. 1031s allow sellers to defer payment of capital gains taxes on a real estate sale, provided the profits profits are reinvested in a similar property. The in-kind, like-kind exchange must meet certain requirements to qualify for tax deferral. The sale must be declared as part of a 1031 exchange before the transaction takes place, and the proceeds from the sale must be rolled over immediately into the replacement property or placed into a trust account held by an intermediary until the new asset is purchased. The seller has 45 days to identify a replacement property, and the closing on the new property must occur within 180 days of the sale. To qualify as a 1031, the replacement building or land must be used for business or investment, and it may not serve as the seller's personal residence or vacation home in any way. Under the like-kind rules, the new property must be of equal or greater value than the property being sold, and the new mortgage should 
also be approximately the same or larger than the debt of the previous property. Any profit taken out of the escrow by the seller becomes taxable. That's important. While the 1031 exchange can be a useful means of deferring taxes, keep that in mind, if you flip several properties within a short period of time, the IRS could determine that your activities constitute a business or trade. If you are classified as a dealer rather than an investor, you will be liable to pay any ordinary income taxes on the sales, regardless of how long the properties were held, as well as a 15.3% self-employment tax. There's no definitive criteria used by the IRS to distinguish a private investor from a dealer slash trader. If, however, you derive all or most of your income from real estate, well, think about this. You will likely be viewed as a self-employed trader for tax purposes. Beware. Beware of making any real estate investment. Educate yourself as thoroughly as possible about local market conditions. Bearing in mind that if speculation in the area is rampant, a price bubble could be forming. Draft a plan outlining your objectives and how you intend to reach them. Taking into account the tax consequences of each single step, weigh carefully how much financial risk you can realistically manage when investing in real estate and how long you can afford to wait, potentially. Ideally, real estate holdings should be balanced against other assets in your investment portfolio. These tactics work well if thought out, but remember, you just need to think it out. We are big believers in general in real estate, especially on income producing real estate here at vastsolutionsgroup.com. But you've got to go into it thinking about taxes just as you would any investment. Very important. Go into a real estate investment thinking about the tax strategy on the exit and every point in between the purchase and the sale. Once again, Kenner French with vastsolutionsgroup.com. We are your group for tax finance. In artificial intelligence, we bring it together for the entrepreneur to help the entrepreneur be that much happier. Once again, Kenner French, thank you for taking the time.